like to go to the hip. Notice that I'm not here, I'm popping the hip. It's right here. So now what I do here, I wanna put the pressure forward and look at my footwork. I'm putting pressure on the partner's left leg. I go this way, now I grab the hip. Now what I do, I start adjusting on the side. Now once I get his head off the mat, now my knees is gonna be on the side. And look at my footwork here, I move. My left knee is gonna be behind his back. Now I can start pushing and my left hand is going to replace my right hand. There, now I keep pushing farther to the side. Now I can get to the sit down. My hand goes to Fabio's hip, just like so. Now I stack Fabio this way. Now I start pushing Fabio, slowly, slowly this way. This hand over here has to replace this hand. There. Now I keep pushing Fabio, and guess what? It becomes a sit belt. Drive the shoulder pressure to the back of my partner's head. Fabio's going to shift his hips. Wait. There it is. We put all together. We get this point here. I'm gonna bring the knee towards his chest. I lock the leg over the hips, bridge, and then fill the top. One, two, three, four, tag, five, move to the side. Your part's gonna turn, slide the bottom hook, pull your part back to you. Take your time, get to the sit belt. And next, we're going to bridge and pull the top hook. One, two, three, four, five, six. This case right now here, since I'm not going for the folder pass, so here I have the option. Because if I come to here, you know, I still can go the other way, but it seems like I compromise a little bit my my weight, right, and my base to the side, which is like he knows that I'm going for the folder pass. But I'm using this guy here to replace this guy here. What I do, I do this, Joe. Sort of like almost the same. But now look at my base. It can't sweep me. It's I don't compromise my base. And when he shrimps, I'm already there to go for the knee slice. Yeah, just the difference here. Yeah? Instead of, so if I commit to here, yeah, I still can. When he goes for the shrimps, I have to go back again and then go for the knee slice. Instead of here, this is exactly the same, but I'm using this grip and using my chest on top of his leg. When he shrimps, it's already there. Make sense? Yeah. One, two, three, four, Move to the side, your part is going to turn, slide the bottom hook, pull your part back to you, take your time, get to the sit belt, and next we're going to bridge and put the top hook. He takes his head off the mat. I step the leg over, and I'll be able to lock in inverted triangle. Lock it up, touch, and I'll be able to lift in his elbow off the mat, 